Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Donna. Today is what today? The second, March the second. Just checking in, saying hello. Hope everybody's doing well. Don't let this full moon madness get to you, people. We got uh, seven inches of snow yesterday, but it's nice and sunny. I'm in the den. See that? See how this, see how it's sunny through the blinds. But uh, I just want to say hello to everybody and say what's up to my weight loss partners that's doing it for themselves, whether it's five pounds, one pound, 200, 300. And just because you're big don't mean you, you got bad health. So if it's something that you want to change, it's not just about for the summer. It's a lifestyle change. So I want to encourage you today. I got good news looking at measuring my uh, waistline and stuff. So I, I'm back down to where I want to be. And um, I just thank God for it. I thank the Creator for blessing me. And every day it's always, it's like here lately, for the last, since uh, the end, of, since like, like, I mean, I always get blessings, but these blessings have been knocking me out every day and in a good way. And I, just a lot of positive blessings coming my way. And that's when you have to, when you forgive people and you can't hold on to people, you'll find out that, or, you know, when you're going around lying on people and doing stuff, you know, and the same goes for me. You got to sometimes, you know, swallow your pride and say, I apologize. But a lot of people don't know how to do it. They're not woman enough. They're not man enough to apologize for lies that they told on you. But I still forgive them. And when I did that and I let it all go and I turn them over to the powers that be, I'm good. And today I got on a little black outfit I love. I, I don't know. I don't love. I don't want to, I don't want to be attached to material possession saying I love a material possession or clothes or something. These are just clothes to cover up this flesh suit. So there, it's nothing that I just say I like this outfit. I like it. I don't love it. I love people. I love my children. I love my husband. I love my family. I love those who are lovable. And I love those who, like little sis had touched. When I tell her what happened, and she said, she apologized. She said, I wasn't trying to sound pussy. I said, baby, you were speaking in the spirit that night. She don't even know, but I let her know. She saved me from getting killed or hurt or me hurting somebody. Because I am a licensed CCW carrier. I have a, a concealed, I can carry a weapon. I've been licensed for a long time. I have two guns. My husband has three. And we got a saw off. I'm not bragging, but we're going to need that. And I thank, you know, President Trump for allowing us to be able to have that. I just don't agree with the teachers having it because if they're not wrapped too tight. But that's sad that you got the man teachers. But it's all a setup, people. So be aware. Be vigilant. Um, know what's real and what isn't. Everybody's not your enemy and out to get you. And don't get in things that don't involve you. Uh, you don't know the whole story and jumping in, caping. And then what usually happens when you do that, because you don't know what really has been going on behind the scenes and people have you fooled and you're supposed to have discernment. They do you the same way and they'll do you even worse. And so, cause I see that coming for somebody. It's, it's about to, it's, they about to really get done in by this person. And I feel sorry for that person because they, they took on something that was none of their business. And that's what a lot of people need to learn, whether that being, uh, off of social media and on social media. Nobody needs nobody to cape for nobody. And if somebody's older than you, they, they sh they're very quite in up to be able to take care of their, in, their own selves. But, um, getting back to my regimen of the way I've been eating, um, I've been eating really good. I've been on a vegetable. I've been doing fast. I'm about to start doing juice fast. And um, I've been doing a lot of vegetables, a lot of fruits. Last night, I went to bed eating a whole container of cherry tomatoes. Rinsed off, scalded off with hot water. They might, yeah, they might be clone tomatoes, whatever, whatever I ate them. Um, I've been eating blueberries for breakfast, blueberries uh, at night. Uh, it, it's been really curbing my sweet tooth because at a certain time of the month, the first of the month, I get very... I want sweet and salty things. So instead of eating all this junk food, even though I, and I got, and I've been getting my protein in, I got a lot of protein bars and some I got bagged up waiting to give people, but I got a lot of protein bars and they're good to keep in your purse. And my, and my daddy, my husband got home early. He got off work early. Do you want to carry any protein bars or a salad or anything with us? Do you yeah. get hungry? Okay. Um, I'm going to show you how much I just went overboard buying vegetables and, and fruit. And I can't even give it all. I've given some away and then there's some I already got. I got a big garbage bag because I wasn't able to give it to a person. And it's a clean garbage bag. So I would never put a dirty garbage bag in my refrigerator. And this is the refrigerator on this level. But it's look at it. It's just so full of stuff. I got junk in here. Now I have towels and stuff. I, you know, like 
my husband did this. I don't know why he did. These are like towels that I don't use anymore. They used to be dish towels and stuff. But sometimes, like after we rinse fruit, we'll do that and put it on there so it can absorb. Or when I'm putting something hot from straight from the oven so we won't get food poisoning. Yeah, I got some unhealthy hot, hot dogs in there, but I got in some these little snacks for children. But I love these right here. They're called Sargento Balance Breaks. They have um, almonds, raisins, and pepper jack cheese. I carry these in my purse. I'll carry. Now, this is some zucchini. I'm going to wash, the, uh, wash this off and make that. I got fresh mushrooms. Still got a lot of that cheese left, but I got a lot of blueberries. Blueberries are very good. If you see that, that's because uh, when I was putting my, my stuff in the oven, that spilled right there. So that's going to... Matter of fact, I'm going to take this out right now. I don't even need these towels under this because it's, I took it out the oven that morning when I was cooking dinner at 6 a.m. in the morning, waiting for my husband to tell me he made it work. Yeah. Baby, put that in the dirty clothes for me. But um, this right here is full of a lot of stuff I'm going to give people at the church. And I had the days mixed up, so I got a lot of cheese. Um, a lot of cheese to give them. A lot of snacks. A lot of, um, these are good, too. They have, they come with a dip, little, you know, the baby carrots. I love these. I might take that one out for myself because I love, I love stuff like that. So I've been drinking a lot of water. Uh, for the, and like, and for the little club that I started, uh, it was nice hearing from like four of you today that was come calling, not calling, but you left a message and let me know that how well everything's going with you. And just to keep you encouraged, just remember, um, it's a lifestyle change. It's not about, don't ever call it a diet. I'm not a, I'm not a fitness guru, but I noticed when I used to call it a diet, I couldn't, I never was successful with weight loss. After I said it's a way of changing the way I eat and view food. That's when I was able to take it off with a lot of hard work. And I have to still praise my husband for holding my legs down and me doing military sit up and crying. And he told me, come on, you got to keep on. And right, when you exercise, you, you got to feel When you feel that burn, then you know you're getting results. And I'm talking about you working. I mean, I'm talking about doing military sit ups. Did you feel the burn? To get my stomach back flat the way it was. Because I never had a hanging stomach or apron, even after childbirth. But I had a little pooch. And so I got rid of that. So all I'm left with now is a scar. But, hey, my stomach is very, very... You can hit me in it. It don't hurt. So my muscles are very tight. My inner girdle is very tight um, from doing my workouts. But you see, I can't get anything. I got strawberries. I got a lot of... You know, some cottage cheese, some sour cream, because I love baked potatoes. I cannot get enough of baked potatoes, and that's a starch that's really it's good for you. And I, I'd rather use regular butter. Let me take this out this container. It's, um, I will use spread on, depending like on oatmeal and stuff. But if you use some spread and melt it on, like let's say you do, I do air pop popcorn, which I got microwave popcorn that's full of sodium. That's why I say I'm not a fitness guru. I don't just eat a hundred percent so healthy, but I, I eat in moderation, and so. Doing that, it has helped me, you know, attain my uh, goal. So now I'm down to 165, really 164, to tell you the truth. So I, I did it. And it wasn't from starving, but I do fast a lot. And I meditate and pray a lot during fasting. But I will do uh, a lot of vegetables and fruits. And they pay off because, uh, can't, you know, tomatoes have a lot of uh, it's so much. Just look up with the benefits of eating tomatoes. But then, like they say, oh, but well, they eating cloned vegetables. Well, they good. Them cloned vegetables, those cherry grape tomatoes, was very sweet and good to me. I, I was a little girl when my mother raised, you know, not raised when she would have a garden. I was the one to go take them. Um, beef, they call them beefsteak tomatoes, and rinse them off in hot water, and slice them up and put a little salt and pepper on it. I, right now, I can buy it. I love beefsteak tomatoes, and I think I'm gonna I'm gonna put some out this summer. I'm gonna do some. Um, I'm gonna have a small little garden. That's what I think I'm gonna do. I am going to do it, but you just have to buy the tomato plants and put them up and then, you know, and, the, and man, you can't stop them. They, when they get to growing, there's nothing like a beefsteak tomato. They'd be so delicious. I just bite into them like apples. Um, my husband is more of an apple person. I like apples, but I like to dip them in the caramel. I got sliced apples, but I got those from him for those, those for him because I'm trying to change the way daddy eats because um, he eats good, but sometimes he has a sweet tooth and I just don't want him to just I just don't want him to get out of hand you know I want him to stay physically fit because he's, he's always been drug free so that you know he doesn't smoke cigarettes nothing that ain't a cancer survivor so he really needs to guard his health I'm not speaking death over him because he's not going in anywhere no time soon until it's the time for him to go um I was just doing my lashes like that because I put some strips on today but um we about to go daddy got off work early so we about to hit the streets and enjoy ourselves and um 
Uh, I saw some jackets last night at Macy's, but I didn't have enough money with me. So, and I didn't have my credit card with me, my debit card. So I'm going to go to Macy's and get a, got a good sale, 70 to 80% off. And this is in the clearance section. Yeah, cheap love to, a cheap love to save money. Honey, I ain't rich yet, but I will be. I claim millionaire status, missionary millionaire that will help those less fortunate. You know, when I get blessed, a lot of folks getting blessed and a couple of them off of here. But it was one that I had on my list. I, I did that because uh, they're, they're, they're pompous and they're, they're asshole and they're full of themselves. And uh, I see them headed for a great big fall. They just blocked away a lot of the good they were about to come into. And I'm not saying for me, but they, but they, but they blocked it by the way they act. Because they're really they're hurting inside and they're trying to prove a point to people that they're not what they were labeled. And um, I saw a lot of bad stuff for him in meditation. And I didn't even try to pray for him because I, he deserves what he got coming. He does. He's, he's done a lot of damage to people. He's done a lot of backstabbing stuff to people and said a lot of mean things to people. So um, it's, 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 his karma is just going to come to you regardless. So that goes for me, you, and anybody. I can't stop it. I can't stop it from coming to you, boo. So don't call me, tell me, can I do this and that? I'm not going to do it for you because you should have thought about that when you were opening your big mouth, your uh, your mud flaps, letting it flip, talking about people like that. But um, here's a lot of, I got a lot of lettuce, a lot of salads. That meat right there, man, that's crazy. But it's vacuum sealed and I've never used it. That's kind of crazy, isn't it? And it's still red. I think it's because it's vacuum sealed. I'm kind of scared to eat it because I don't know the origins. <laughs> Because my um, daughter's people gave it to us. And I'm like, what is the origins of this meat? I mean, I could be eating human flesh. But human flesh, they say, is sweet. It has a sweet taste. And it's it looks more like pork, whatever. It has that kind of taste. But um, I'm about to go. And we're about to go take care of some business. And I'm about to go to Macy's. This is jacket I want for spring. I'm like, this little black jacket. It's only $29.99. And um, it's a couple of people I want to donate to. Well, there's just one guy I want to donate to, and it's a female. I'm up in arms about thinking about sending her something. I don't know. I might, I might not. Depends on where spirit leads me, because I don't know. Um, me forgiving a person to me, I think that was enough lesson right there, because you cannot throw your pearls before swine. A lot of people don't appreciate it anyway. Just know, if you give something, you give it from the heart. That person, when you give somebody something, they don't owe you anything after that. When it's in their hand, you don't hold it over people's head and say, I did this for you. That's when you know a person and give it from the heart. Because once I release it out of my hand, it's yours. You do whatever you want. You can throw it in the garbage, flush it down the toilet, or give it to another person. Pay it forward. My gas got paid for the other day. You know, my groceries, well, the little few groceries I had got paid for the other day. Of course, it was some guys trying to flirt with me, but I'm just saying it still was a blessing. I didn't take it further, and I'm saying it, and my husband hear me, but it was just the idea that I was, I had gave so much the week, pro, you know, previous with money, uh, you know, errands and doing stuff for people. You always don't get it back how you, t you know, you send it out, but it was just the idea somebody said, hey, I got, cause I said, oh, I got to go out to the car and get some change. The man said, how much does that stuff cost? He won't even pay for it. He paid for all of it at Walmart. My favorite, one of my favorites in like Meyer. So it is what it is. So we about to go. Daddy, can you get my jacket for me? But I lost my weight. I'm happy. I'm feeling great. And as always, I got to do the, the Donna Martina special. It's getting higher and higher back there. Ladies, squats do wonders. They do wonders. I always had a nice butt back there, but it's like when you do squats, you 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 like a stallion back there, like them horses, like a mule. Yeah. My husband is helping me put. This is what gentlemen are supposed to do. Now I have on my duality colors of red and red and black. You can take that however you want. Maybe it's an entity I worship. Baby, <laughs> okay. There's a cover up my back. My shirt ain't rising up in the back, is it? I want this little black um, scarf thing to hang around my neck, like on, around my coat. You pull up my pants, don't please don't tear them. They're half leather and half fabric. You don't see my, my back or my, my thong, do you? Mm -mm. Okay. All right, so we about to go, me and hubby. And, um, you guys be good and treat each other good. And be careful out here, baby. Where's my, um? oh, here we go. Because I was wondering, like, could you help me? Can you put that, like, around the back of my collar? What? This black um, little scarf. You know how I am. Can you put that around the back of my collar of my jacket? So you guys be good and treat each other good and 
Don't let these people get to you out here in this world. It's the full moon and people are acting crazy on social media everywhere. Honey, they need to get out the house sometimes or just sit on the porch, especially if it's nice where they're at. Go for a walk. Even if it's cold, try to walk if you can and just wear some boots or something that you want. I got on uh, kicks today. I got on my gym shoes. I got on black gym shoes. And, uh, oops, see, this top is rising up, so I got to keep pulling it down. But no, I got to pull my pants up. So, um, you guys have a wonderful day. All right. Bye.